So if you recall in the first layer, I had the guitar come. She can't English, I go speak now. What's up everyone? My name is DJ Kublan, record producer, sound engineer, and you're welcome to the second edition of the Beat Breakdown for Shekere by Yamiela De and Anjali Kijo. And if you recall in our last video, I was able to show you how I broke down the beat from the first layer and how I was able to let you know that I make my beats in layers. So be sure to watch this video to the end. Of course, there's so much to learn. You subscribe as well, turn on the notification so you know when I post. So yeah, let's get to it. Here we are in Cubase and I already bounced those files as stems. That's the first layer. So just to have a quick recap, I'm going to play it back. So um, just to introduce you to the second layer, this is what I have. I have a few, you know, samples to just enhance the drums. So um, here's what I have in this particular channel. So I have this sound. Yeah. Just to help the snare and the clap. Then I also have this sound. It's all to enhance the snare and the clap. Then I also have this shaker. This shaker is actually one of the most ugliest samples I ever used in this music. So um, why did I use it, if you may ask? Well, <laughs> it just helps me polish the music. It just, it has this nice um, brightness to it. And so just to hear it with the rest of, of the instruments. Yeah. So I also have this other sample. Um, it's a comp sample. I already like processed it to be as one, you know, because I already like how well I balanced it. I know a lot of people who say, nah, you can't do that. It's not part of the rules, but then I make my rules. So here's how it goes. Yeah, and you're welcome to the 808. These are the two beasts of a bass. So anyways, um, as for the intro, I'm going to play back from the intro so you hear how they come in. God, for those of you that watched the last video, if you notice, I used some kind of playful bass. I changed it, you know, I changed it because I needed the, the record to sound more beefy and more serious and more official because you don't sound into African, you know, I, I still wanted it to cut across. It's not that it's bad, but then if, if it can be better, why not? So, um, and of course, our uh, able drums, you know, I had them in the last, um, and the last uh, layer, I don't know. I probably put it here by mistake. But anyways, so. Why they no go sing on top of them? Why? Why they no go sing on top of them? You know the year I'm. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, so um, the bass I had in the first layer while I was using it in FL Studio, I sort of um, played it again, but I then I, I gave it a different 
expression, you know, though I don't have the former one here, I have a newer one. So this is the, this is the track. Yeah. So um, that's for the second layer. I'm going to also introduce you to the third layer now. Yeah. So in the third layer, what I have is the melody, the melody, melody, melody. Melody is so, so, so important when you're making African music. Like the melody is the source, is the soul, is one of the strongest pillars of an African beat. So for melody, this is what I have. In the intro, I had to enhance the melody of the intro, that is these two guys, as I showed in the first layer, the marimba and the guitar, you know, remember? So if you remember in the first layer, I had the guitar get more gain than the marimba, but now I brought the guitar down. So just because these other guys were coming in, let me just solo them alone so you get to know what they sound like. Sincerely, I don't know where I got this sound, but I know that I was tweaking a lot of stuff. So in combination with the marimba and the guitars, I had it in FL, hear how it sounds. So I'm going to play the intro with the enhanced guitar melody. Check what melody this is again. Aha, uh -huh. so the guitar, right? Our most important, freshest African guitar. This is so melodious. I have to name it Female Na Romantic Guitar. <laughs> All right. Listen to the romantic guitar. After a romantic guitar, I have this other sound. Let me check it out. Let me see what it sounds like. Oh, it's just one sound. So. Yeah. Just consistent like that. The other things I use that particular instrument to play. Let me see. What did I play? I got that um, instrument from, I think, Omnisphere or thereabout. Well, that's about that. What is this? Oh, so uh, for our original African guitar, I had to play something to emulate the real life guitar play. So let me just play from intro. Let's just quickly check what this sounds like. Sicily, I got that sound from Logic. So another thing, another part of this uh, favorite instrument is, let me open up the vocals here, let me see. Uh, 
Okay, check this out, right? I have this synth. So, like this. And the synth has a continuation, just that I didn't put it in the same channel. So here's the synth. Some, sometimes when, when I'm playing some chords, I hit like, uh, let's say 40% of the time I hit one wrong note, but then it just sounds right in my ears. It's just, they're those kind of um, acceptable errors. You know, I don't try to touch it. I just leave it because I like how it sounds. Yeah, so there we have it. Um, layer three done. So we're on to layer four. Layer four, let me just close all these folders. One, two. And layer four, we have the first melody. So that's more guitars to enhance the intro because I need it to be very big. I need, to, I need it to be very fat, very intentional. I'm going to play back the intro without it and with it. So I'm playing the intro with it now. Yeah, so another sound for the intro is this. So this goes like this. So what that does for me is to give the music some kind of brightness, like it has to be bright and very exciting because the vocals alone is already operating within that frequency range. So we need something that complements it at that same space. So that bright shaker did it for me and um, yeah. So I call this, I call this particular track I'm about to open for you, the Egungu. It's called the Egungu. Like Egungu. Yeah. So here it is. It has that masquerade type of vibe, you know, it makes you feel like, okay, happy time, right? So other sounds uh, that I used within the beginning of the song, like this guy. Let me see. All right. They're all enhancers. All of all this, they're all enhancers. The combination with this guy, you see how it sounds. So all these are, enhan all these are enhancers just to make the drums feel more groovy and more happy. Here's another enhancer. Oof. And here's what it does to the entire music. So, and uh, still on the same line, I have just the final, the final part of the, you know, oh, I, I got more, just hold on. So this is just the conga, you know, to just make it very vibey. 
and it's complementing what is going on here as well. This. But when it when they play alone, it sounds weird. But when they play with the entire music, it you feel the energy that's happening there. Ooh. 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 Hey, hey. That place feels like you're ready to go. Like you're ready to go, go. You know. The final parts of you know these enhancers. Let me see what's going on here. And this track, I was looking for some samples and I told myself at this point, stop looking. So, still needed to complement the tom. And that is in drum layer two. So, here's what it does for me. See that? So, uh, to complement those drums, all together it sounds like this. And there's another one, another enhancer. This is so weird, I had to name it Lagbaja. So, just goes thus like this. See that? just more energy 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 this that's what this type of music needs so anything to make it super fat pump it up let's go but then manage it if you do not manage it the music will be too rough and too complex you know you have a lot of stuff going on in there that is now distracting but a well-managed sound you know is actually very 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 good to listen to so um it might look like i have a lot going on in there but everything has their place everything has their place and everything comes in at the right time i don't use you know just because the sounds are available to me don't mean i just use them anyhow and to, to take you through to the next track i have this called uh let me see what it sounds like. All right. So if you notice on the main song, I had something go on there. Very serious snare. <laughs> so to the final parts of this Pax Not Pills group, um, layer, whatever we may call it, is my voice. It's funny. So I needed something that would sound like, you know, we're cheering the intro up, like there's a lot of crowd, like, ah. So check this out. What would the entire song just hear it? So this is what it sounds like. Yo, I could be crazy at times. I was in the studio and I thought like, how do I get that intro to sound like people are shouting? And it was so funny that I had to do it myself. Guess the first sound, listen. Yes. And we have another one like, <laughs> funny right what all right i have another one like this Nah, i can't do that that's that's madness i was just crazy and then the last one yes! Yes! <laughs> 
All right, on that last one, I was like, yes, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So all together, this sounded really weird and very interesting like this. <laughs> so check this out. So at this point, we are done with all the layers I used in this beat, except for one thing. Check this out. Of course. You didn't hear that. Let's take it again. god the vocals are so lush like you can enjoy it the performance oh, super fantastic man i can't really stress but it's all good yeah so there we have it guys we've gotten to the final step of the entire beat breakdown for shekere by yemi Aladi and angeli kijo produced by myself written by clem super songwriter and thank you all for watching please make sure to subscribe like comment share this video because of course i've got more coming and turn on notifications so you see when i post peace